everyone and welcome to a, another day in Reykjavik. So I'm going to be heading downtown to go to some of the thrift stores along Lillevega um, to see if I can find some shorts. So I don't know how popular shorts are <laughs> in Iceland, but the hubby and I have a upcoming trip that we're going to go to France and Spain. And it's gonna be much, much hotter than it is here. So I kinda need some shorts, so let's go. Um, I wanted to let you guys know I have a cold yet again, the life of working with kids. So my voice might be a little raspy today, but we made it to our first stop, the Red Cross. stripe clearly um, I kind of think it's super cute just like roll the sleeves up adds a little detail it's kind of loose it would look cute tucked in yeah it's fast fashion for sure um, but second hand so, I might get this one. Okay, I also found this kind of funky dress. I thought maybe it would be cute in that like kind of strange funky way on the hanger, but I think it's just strange. <laughs> it's a little too big for me as well. So, <sighs> just the life of being in small, I guess. So, kind of cute, the little fishies, but no go. Okay, stop number two. I just had to try this on. It's so fancy. Oh my goodness. Listen, it's super fun. Not really practical, in my opinion. <laughs> Where am I going to wear this? Maybe you guys know this, but I think you're cooler than I. <laughs> you know. yeah. Moving on. Okay, I put my sweater back on. So, this is the definition of short girl problems. <sighs> if only I were. I don't know. Eight inches taller. Okay, so I finally found a pair of shorts, <laughs> but it's a little bit of a no-go. Mm. I think I'm just a little too little for party kings. Alright, struck out here. Just some little shopping breaks for me. some b -roll now.
So we have just a little bit of a walk until I get to the next spot. So I was wanting to talk to you guys about why I'm even thrifting and why I'm taking you along just in case you're curious. So a little while ago, I watched the documentary called The True Cost. If you haven't watched it, I would highly recommend it. It's on Netflix. Um, and it basically shows the, the downsides of fast fashion and all of the human atrocities that happen because of it. So even if I buy fast fashion brands um, from a thrift store, I would rather buy secondhand and know that it's not going into a landfill and buy more, like better clothes that have more ethical practices because of the people that are involved in, in the human rights issues. So, and Reykjavik has a decent scene. I, my understanding is that ever since the um, economic crash in 2008, they started to pop up here and there, and so they have a decent scene. And so it's like, why not take advantage of that? So that's why I'm taking you along. That's why I'm 13, because after that documentary, I can't really go back to buying fast fashion or just a lot of fashion in general so if you haven't watched it definitely watch it um, and if you're a thrifter then that's awesome there's places here in Reykjavik if you come so um, oh and in case you're thinking to yourself Kelly it's June why are you wearing a hat and scarf well it's a great question I wish that I didn't have to <laughs> But here in Reykjavik today, it is about 48 degrees Fahrenheit, which I believe is about eight or nine Celsius for everyone outside of the state. So even though it is June and should be summer, it doesn't feel like summer yet. That's why I'm wearing my hat. So, okay, almost to the next step. Last. you guys I found so many shorts here yes let's try them okay here we go so fair number one do they look cute those fit very exciting there is however this big old hole in the butt I don't know how I feel about that and they're a little long I'm awful short so they're a little too tight to roll, so let's keep trying. Uh, way too better. Way too better. Mm. Again. Uh, way too better. Okay, so these ones are not that far. They fit in the thighs, and I can roll them up. It looks cute. Still just a little too big here. The butt is super saggy. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's just so saggy. <sighs> Cute, but just too big. Hi guys, so it's a few days later and I just wanted to do a quick follow-up from my adventure out thrifting. So I did end up striking out on all the shorts that I found. I did find several as butt neck. So if you are ever in Iceland and you need some shorts, they are available, but I just struck out I couldn't find anything that fit me. Um, I did end up buying the shirt that you guys probably that you saw at the very beginning of the video. Um, I thought it was just really cute and I've worn it a couple of times and really like it. So I did get this. Um, but the shorts didn't work out. But um, the other important piece was what I was talking about when I was walking along Loga Vega and that was um, about ethical shopping. So like I said, if you haven't seen The True Cost, I would highly recommend watching it. It's available on Netflix and they also have a website. Um, I'll link that down below where they have, um, I believe you can watch the, the movie for free on the website and they have a whole bunch of resources about ethical shopping. And so since watching that and just kind of educating myself a little bit more, I've been 
trying to make some changes around how I view my wardrobe and how I shop. So I'm doing a couple of things. And the first is um, just buying less. So having less um, clothing has honestly made a big difference in my life. I can, I might actually do a video on that on, on some point, um, just about kind of like minimalizing my wardrobe and um, how that's changed how I view it. Um, so buying less overall. And then second, um, when I do buy something, buying it ethically. So that might be buying from an ethical brand who does, um, who's transparent about how they make the clothing, um, both with how they treat the workers and they get the products. Um, and then doing that or thrifting. So buying second hand, that way it's not clothing that's just going to go into a landfill that I'm kind of giving it a second life and, and getting more use out of the item that's already been made. Um, so a couple of other things that I wanted to mention along with the two classes, there's two ladies here on YouTube that have inspired me and taught me about this. And that's, um, the professional wild child, um, as well as Kristen Leo. Um, those are two who make videos about ethical shopping and thrifting. Um, and I've learned a lot from their channel. So I'm going to link both of them down below so you can check them out as well if you're interested in this topic. Um, so I think that's all for this vlog. I hope it was kind of fun, but educational, something a little bit different. Um, and I hope to see you guys again very soon. Don't forget to like, comment if you have questions or if you want to talk about this. I'm happy to talk to you guys and I love to have conversations with you. Um, and subscribe for any future videos, but I will see you guys very soon. Thanks so much for watching and bye.